Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rajesh. I hope you are doing good. So in today's video will be a basic Figma tutorial. We will see six best plugins uh, in Figma which, which I use you know, on my projects. Plugins are basically the third party tool or the scripts uh, that make your work faster, that can speed up your workflow and reduce your work efforts. You can get your work done. Uh, so you can go to the community and from here you can search any of the plugins. For example, if I search the plugin, here you will get it or the other way is you can go to the your own file okay here you can click on a resource there will be the plugin tab just click it there so here you will get all type of plugins the recent one you will get it here and you will get all type of plugins from here and you can go back to the community also so you just have to click on this run plugin will get installed so let's check out the first plugin which i use so go to the resource plugin check out the cta button okay you just have to search it here cta button okay already i have so i will don't run it here in your figma file just click on plugins go to cta button okay after you have already installed it by clicking on a run so you get all variety of buttons here you can choose according to your own theme you just have to click it any one of it Tada! it's there plus you will get also in the hover state each button are easily modifiable for example you just have to click it here you can increase the width size you can change the text for example submit so you can utilize this button so all these buttons are easily modifiable. So let's check out the second one, beautiful shadows. You have to go to the resource, just search beautiful shadow. Just click on a run. So I will create one rectangle. Okay, here will give some color. I will choose this click on a beautiful shadow you see oh wait I will give a frame from here you can change the angle to where do you want to upper left hand side right hand side upper or downside I will keep it here or you can click on this three dots the more from here you can change the angle the opacity the plus you can give the different color also to this shadow after it's done just click on apply yeah it's there so you can change the effects from here so i will delete it so let's explore the third plugin which is one of my favorite one click it here type blush i will create one frame for this okay so right click plugin or uh, click on a blush so here you will get all type of collection of illustration where you can uh, create and customize it just choose any of the collection for example i will go to this i will choose this avatar here you will get this avatar on the frame and the best part is you can change the color of this uh, for example if you want to give different color to your skin you can change the skin color also plus the good thing is you can change the avatar background from here you will you can customize it basically to which do you want according to your uh, theme if you don't want the hair you can remove it you can change the expression also from here so you can easily customize any of the avatar so you can change the accessories also if you go to the drop down you will get the collection plus the categories so let's explore the education category so if i want uh, this illustration just click it here yeah that's it so you can check it out which type of illustration do you want you can explore it according to your own theme you can take any of the collections so i will close this i will delete this so let's explore the fourth plugin uh, the name is mockups 
I have already installed that plugin. So for this plugin, we require a screen. Okay, for example, I will take one of the screen which I have created. You just have to select the frame, go to the plugins, go to mockup studio. All different type of devices are there which we make on a Photoshop. So which take uh, more than hours or it depend on the experience of the designer like to place it according to device you don't have to play with the angle it's just with a one click you will get the mockups according to the requirement from here you will get for different devices also for example you can filter it out you can click on a samsung if you want that device plus right now you will choose any plus you can change the hands to male female if you don't require any hands you can click it here plus uh, if you want on a portrait you will uh, it will filter it out plus on a landscape also it will get filtered it out it depends plus you will have a option of transparent also it's not completely free if you want to use for example if i choose ipad you have to pay for it because you can see there is a lock so if you want to use this so you have to pay for this plugin if you want to use uh, for the different devices so i will say it's one of the best uh, plugin so if you want have a requirement you can purchase it if you have a basic requirement i will say don't purchase it you can get lot of devices from here close this also so let's explore the fifth plugin which i use it's ui faces this one okay so for this you require one background any of the it could be a rectangle or circle right click go to the plugins go to the ui faces so from here you will get a lot of options either it could be uh, from you can take it from unsplash if you have a specific requirement or it could be a pixels you can change the age according to your own persona you can take male female emotions plus the best thing you get the hair color also if you require any female uh, character so for example i am clicking on unsplash apply avatar so so this thing mostly used for the profile pictures you will uh, use on profile screen or your home screen by clicking on applying of the if you are not happy with you can click on a multiple times you will get according to your which you want to create if you want a female you just have to click on this it will filter it out so yeah you can check it out this ui faces also so last but not least the sixth plugin which i use take rectangle shortcut is r draw it here okay go to this super gradient it's known as this one so on the rectangle just click right hand side this super gradient from here you get all type of gradient for example you just have to click on explore collection okay so you can scroll it out you get all type of uh, all type of different colors gradient here you can create your own gradient also for example if i just click it here okay if you like it just update it okay plus you just have to create your own style okay for example this one you just have to click on a create style give a name red gradient create style yeah that's it it's created here okay plus if you want to delete it you can delete it from here also if you're new to the figma you can check it out my figma playlist uh, it might help you so that's it guys if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel just turn on the bell notification so you will get all the latest updates you can follow me on linkedin beyond audible i will paste the link on the description box below i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching